The issue of the green card for motor insurance is probably the most visible and worrying aspect of what life might look like for those living near the border in a no-deal Brexit situation. We know that under Article 82 of the EU Motor Insurance Directive, the EU can give a waiver to Britain and to the North to ensure that there is no need for insurance green cards. They did it for other countries, including Serbia, in 2011. <clears throat> Minister Ross should have been pushing this at EU level but instead he washed his hands of it and there was no, there was no arrangement in place. Now my colleague Mel de Monster was blue in the face questioning him at the Transport Committee and on the floor of the Dáil and he's had very little information on it. He couldn't tell what interventions he had made with the EU and Britain to ensure <clears throat> that there was an agreement in place ahead of Brexit. This should have been done and dusted by now if he had bothered uh, to do his job. He simply does not understand the sensitivities of the issue for people on the border. We're talking about people going to work every day, farmers accessing their own land, families visiting one another and tourists. Many people will not accept that they will have to carry a green card for these purposes. Others are completely confused as to what the situation is. Uh, on an issue as important as this, Minister Ross saw fit to abuse and insult a colleague of mine in the other house, and that was completely and totally unacceptable. Minister Ross needs to do his job. If he still refuses to do so, <clears throat> then this amendment, if voted through, mandates you to ensure that the necessary work is done. Sinn Féin is clear that something concrete needs to be done around this. Uh, and Minister, it's up to you to accept our amendment or else explain to the hundreds of thousands of people who will be affected by this why you allowed a Cabinet colleague to sit on his hands and allow a mess like this to happen. But, you know, the choice is yours.